click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Ross here. Welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video. And today we're going to talk about resonance. Draw resonance forms for the following and draw the hybrid structure. No problem. We can totally do this. So what I like to do is personally, I draw in my lone pairs first. Just get them drawn in there. You know, sometimes it's extraneous and doesn't really do much for you. And sometimes it really does help you. So just draw them in every time, all the time. Okay, so I have a lone pair here. And I have carbonyls flanking it on both sides. So I know I can draw resonance forms going to the left to the carbonyl and to the right to the carbonyl. Do not draw more than one set of arrows on a structure. So you're going to see what I mean in a minute, but just, just make it neat. Okay, organic chemistry professors like things to be neat because we can see it. We can see what you're getting at. If you draw too much on one drawing, it gets messy. We can't see where you're going with it and we'll probably give you zero. All right, so don't be messy. Now, this is how I would do it. I would draw the lone pair going towards this carbonyl and push up that pi bond. Why did I choose to go left and not right? Because I did. There's no reason for it. I just did. Draw the resonance arrows like this. So there's one kind of resonance form. Now, there's two ways you can go about it at this point. Um, there's the, the more advanced way, I would say, like that I would use. And maybe there's a way that more students are more happy with. So what I'm going to do is the student way first. A student would probably redraw it. So I'm just redrawing the parent molecule or the parent ion. And then they would show me resonance arrows on their new drawing. Nothing really wrong with this. It's just time consuming. There you go. So there's nothing wrong with this. Nothing at all wrong with this. Uh, it's completely acceptable. It's just you took the time to draw this drawing again. You just, just a little bit of time. What I would have done personally is I would not have done that. I would have done it from here. I would have drawn these lone pairs down. This lone pair going here or this pi bond going over to here, and this pi bond going up to here, I would have used a three arrow transition. It's just a little more of an advanced way to think about it. Um, but there's nothing wrong with just redrawing the thing and doing it again. What would be wrong is drawing these arrows on here. So it would be wrong to do this. And I see this all the time. This would be incorrect. Don't do that. No. Why not? Because I've got too many arrows moving too many things in too many different directions. Okay? So don't do that. Do not do that. Unless specifically told to by your chemistry faculty member, do not draw that many arrows in the drawing. Especially because I'm showing the same lone pair moving in two different directions. Don't do that. Because it's not correct. All right. Now how would I get from here to here? I would have drawn these arrows. Lone pair down to reform the pi bond. Move this pi bond over to here. Move that pi bond up to there. That's how I would have done it. Only because it saves me time. And I think this looks a little neater as well, a little more professional. But again, I would have marked the student method correct because it is correct. It's just a little bit more time consuming. Okay? Now, the hybrid structure of this molecule would be something like this. Delta negative, delta negative, and delta negative. These are big delta negatives. This is a small delta negative. Okay? And that's how you do the resonance forms for this particular ion. Now, with that, guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, slap that like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how I did. Let me know questions that maybe you're working on in your class that maybe I can help you with. And please consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help me out when people subscribe. It keeps my channel growing. It keeps me motivated to keep making more videos for you guys and your organic chemistry endeavors. And with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.